Sticking with hurling and moving on to the, the under 20s and minors, their squads were announced during the week. They're both starting their Munster Championship campaigns next week. The minors are in the Friar Field on Tuesday for Waterford, and the under 20s are there the following evening against the same opposition. It's running the same round robin as the senior championship, so we'll get plenty of time to see both. The minor games have been streamed by Munster JTV, the 20s games are by the YouTube, TG Carr's YouTube channel. Um, both squads are on the website if you want to see them. Briefly on the, the minors, the under-17s, um, Drummond Laka Benog, Sean Morrissey is the team captain, and Dara Furland of Monoline is the vice captain. Evan Loftus is the manager. There's an extensive background team. There's a couple of lads remaining from last year's team. Ty Body, we know from the long puck, Shane O'Grady, Darren Colopy, John O'Keefe, and Dermot Lyons are all in tow again, but under 17s, Matt, we'll see, we'll see a lot of new faces coming through. But the under 20s, there's a lot of lads there that we know about, players that we've seen um, in action, namely Adam English, an All Ireland winner. He's probably the best known name on that under 20s team. Ethan Hurley is captain. Paddy Donovan is vice captain. Paddy obviously played for Limerick Seniors a couple of times last year. From the All Ireland or the team that got to the All-Ireland 20s final last year, Matt, there's seven still there that started the final. Evan O'Leary from Mahan, Keane Scully, John McLacka, John Curry, Patrick Swell, Adam English and Shane O'Brien from Kilmallock, as well as Ethan Hurley and Paddy Donovan. Um, obviously, Watford have a certain Patrick Fitzgerald from Ballygunner that we, we know too well at this stage. But uh, that 20s team is fairly stacked, isn't it? It's, it, it, it's, it's a strong side, actually, you know, and they, 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 um, they, they, as minors, they, 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 they won the championship, uh, the yeah. minor championship. They, they beat Tipperary in a hectic monster final in Limerick and had a very good win over Cork in the in the semi final in Turles. Now that that's three years ago, and it, you, you'd say, and it was in the height of the COVID pandemic as well. So you you you, you you'd be entitled to think that it'll have no bearing whatsoever on what will happen in, in this year. But it, it's, a, it's a guide, Jack. But yeah. it, it, it's no more. And um, you, you you just have a look at the under-21 squad. And as you rightly pointed out, three of them have played with the Limerick Seniors. We'll say um, Adam English and uh, Shane O'Brien are currently involved. Patrick O'Donovan has experience with it. But um, there are other players, you know, have, have experienced great highs since emerging from minors, and I'm, I'm I'm talking about the like of Ronan Lyons, Lachlan McHale, and and um, uh, Joseph Fitzgerald. Oh, Joe Fitz. um, you know, they, they they would have been exposed to top class hurling here, including winning an All Ireland final in Croke Park, which will 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 benefit them. Um, like Keen Scully is just just out of um, he he will be out of college this year, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah, he, and Evan O'Leary, the, 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 Mikey Gavin, they're all Ireland winners as well. Um, yeah. with 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 um, with with, with Art School Reese and JJ Carey is in there as well. So, and that there are others. So, like you know, Dermot Mullins has assembled a very very strong squad, a, 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 a squad with a, with a winning mentality, Jack. Um, now it has to be said, Jack, that for the first year. The Munster Under-21 Hurling Championship has been run on a, a round, full round robin. Like the five counties, Kerry are not involved, but the other five counties will all play each other. And uh, the team that will finish top, the county that will finish top at the end will go straight through to the final, and the counties that finish second and third will play in a Munster semi-final. So yeah. it's, it's going to be an exciting month. Now, the final is down for early May. Semi-final and final are down for early May. So, like, we're going to have a crash course of Munster under 20 hurling. Now, yeah. the vibes that that we the, the, the vibes that we are hearing um is that um Waterford have a very good team this year. And yeah, the Patrick Fitz, obviously. <laughs> yeah, the, we, we seem to have heard that before, you know, but um look. You 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 have to you you have to take on what's put in front of you, and um, like he, we, we cannot overstate the importance of getting off to a winning start. And um, yeah. Limerick will certainly, um, um, you know, now Ethan Hurley um, was an exceptionally good minor 
and I, I, I think he has tra transitioned very, very well into adult hurling, particularly with Newcastle West last year. <coughs> he was an he was an absolute key player, and um, uh, really, and um, you know, I, I, I think possibly a very good choice that he has been named as captain. Um, yeah, we, we all know we all know what Patrick O'Donovan can do. Like he he was involved with Limerick. Um, in the Monster League, was it last year? Yeah, it's um, very. Played a number of games, got on the score sheet, sheet, um, but was was dogged by injury for a lot of 2022. Um, yeah. um, but um, seemed when he finally shed off the injury, um, recaptured his best form, particularly for Effen. And uh, I, I would certainly have been looking forward to to Patrick and and. Um, be, being a key member, and of course, Jack, um, we haven't mentioned Shane O'Brien and Adam English. Yeah, there's there's so many players on, on the you know, squad. And... We, we 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 know what that you are about. You know, I yeah. You know, there's there's uh, no there's I'm... loads from if from uh, from the club scene, especially let's run through the list briefly. Like um, Dave Fitz from Kildare Palace Kennery, I think is an exceptional good young hurler. Absolutely, um, an exception, an, an exceptional player, Jack. I, um, I, I agree with you. A total exception to player. Now, there's a young lad out in Temple Clanton who's a very good player as well. Adam Fitzgerald, whether he'll make the first 15 or not, I, I, I don't know. But a very, very good player coming through. And it's nice to see players like that, you know. Oh, yeah, um, 100%. Coming um, through. And there's, there's more. Just when you, when you mentioned a lad that mightn't be on the starting team, I think Finton Fitz, he's only, I'd say he's still only 17 from Hungry St. Paul's. We saw him. For Art Scholarish, like a brilliant, brilliant forward. He's absolutely. And um, he, 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 my my understanding is he has another year with Art Scholarish. Oh, I, I would imagine so. He's only he's just out of minor, like he's only yeah. seventeen years of age. He's yeah. club very, mate, very, Liam Lynch. very, very good player. And if you recall, he he had an exceptionally good game <coughs> in last year's Premier Under Twenty One final. And just mentioning that on the Under Twenty One final. How great it is to see Liam Lynch back. That's where I was going in, to his club in, in, in the Limerick panel. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Liam, Liam has all the qualities to go go all the way. So hopefully he's he shed that injury. He's played for twenty one, so I'd imagine he'd be he'd be right to the fore. And then Oshin O'Farrell, it, it's good to have an, a Skeeton man um, in there. He was phenomenally good for us last year, by far and away our best player. Um, you know, and he was only seventeen at the time, so. For Oshin to get his recognition out here in the West, like Adam Fitz and Temple Glant and more of these lads, it's good to see that there's there's a spread around the county. So as I said, you're like laughing away there. I cannot let you go without that, with that, without mentioning him <laughs> in the of Glen Row. Ah, yeah, but we've we've seen we've seen Liam for a long time, and he was with UL as well, as far as I am concerned. But it's great that there is. I think there's 24. Yeah, yeah, no, your, your point is well made, Jack. Your point is very well made. It's you know, it means that Dermot Mullins and his management team have scored the length and breadth of this county to get the best yeah. talent that's available. There's 24 clubs represented, which which says its own says its own about the work that was done by the lads, but. Seven o'clock uh, next Wednesday, live on YouTube for TG Cahar, uh, Limerick versus Waterford. They'll have Clare at home, they'll have Tip Away and Cork at home, the same format as the seniors. So will the minors. So the best look to Evan Loftus with the minors and to Darren Mullins with the 20s. We'll be keeping uh, a close watch on all the goings on um, with the minors and 20s going forward. Alongside the seniors, it's going to get very, very hectic, Matt. I think it's, it, it's fair to say. But uh, we wouldn't have it um, any other way in terms no, of... No, Jack, um, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we're, we're into the meaty part of the season now as far as the inter-county is concerned. Once the underage starts, um, you, know, we're, you know, we're going to have minors and under-21s practically on a weekly basis. We're going to have the under-21 football uh, coming on board in early, in, in, in early July and 